much you do it all over again so give me a call five oh call us both party lights flashes in the rear view law enforcement Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. TV 10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 15th of July, 2021. Special thank you to Sheriff Nate Harmon and the Berkeley County Sheriff Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will contain a search for a missing person. It's the same person I'm thinking. Yesterday morning, I came by. He was out on his porch drinking water, and I and I said, "Hey, Eric, how you doing?" He was very lucid, clear-headed, good conversation. I said, "Hey," and I said, um, and he I said, "Hey, I know we're up this morning." He goes, "No, I heard something woke me up in the morning too." I'm like, "Well, Jamie said it was you." in and knocked on the door and got to let him in. So he said, Tom, it could have been me. He said, I'm not feeling well, I'm dehydrated, that's why I'm out here drinking water. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get dehydrated. It could have been me, I, I don't know. Okay. So then about two hours later, I got a call at work and the guy came by to pick him up that he works with sometimes and said he was just yelling, accusing him of taking stuff out of his Bible. One of the female workers that works on the construction crew saying, hey, don't trust that expletive, you know, and so we knew something was up. And then, yes, then, um, yesterday morning, I guess, so I'm get my times right. He went down to three houses down and got some water. 
So we found three open bottles of water here uh, today by that gap in the fence. Okay. I don't know if that's the water. How how big is it? Probably maybe about an inch taller than me. About okay. the same build. Right, so maybe little, maybe a little, maybe, 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 maybe little, little, maybe little skinnier. Yeah. Uh, probably a little is thinner. it a golf Probably people use that. To walk well, I mean, down. he's specifically. I mean, he's uh, older. Yeah. Fifty by fifty-two, fifty-three. Okay. But I mean, he works. He climbs up ladders, gets on the roof, doing the shop okay. and stuff. So does he? Use, does he go anywhere specifically? No, not generally. Generally, he's when he's working. He's at work. Who's um, this? Hold on. Well, his lights been off for two days. Oh, she, they said it's been off for two yeah. days. Does he have, sorry, I didn't even catch what you were saying. He doesn't have anywhere he usually goes? Generally, no. I mean, he gets up, goes to work, mm -hmm. and he's usually here. Okay. I mean, how I usually, people, how many I mean, people I usually in the neighborhood usually know him about it? Because like pretty much everybody like everybody, everybody here knows everybody. 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 So, but you've already checked inside or no? Yeah, I'm, I'm going inside. So okay. Times. All right. Well, let's go inside one more time and see if we can. Here's, maybe fix here's the up. sister. You need the sister's name. That's her name. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a whole lot from her as yeah, far as like it, a, a phone number or anything. Yeah, because he he's got two can, Facebook pages, and this one seems to be the one he's most active on. So I found her on that. If you're, if you're able to, to are you able to send her anything as far as like a message? Or I anything? can maybe ask her to be my friend and then see if she. That's well, completely up to you. I, I don't really like want to encourage you to ask random people to be your friend on Facebook, <laughs> being weird and all. But <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you feel like she might be able, if she might be able to get a hold of you, I don't know. Um, something. I mean, she did go to see him when he was in the hospital right. because we didn't have any family, any family know, and then right. they finally got a hold of her. She did go see him in the hospital, so they're right there. they do have a relationship. Okay. You know, I'll press it. We'll see. And what? What is his name? Eric. Marmaduke. Someone else is really good. That's what you want. Yeah, she makes it hard. You already gave them that information. You can already call Marmaduke like a dog. We'll make it six-burger. You got a 27 for this mail. 10-4. Can you do that, please? You need a uh, date of birth. What, uh, what data do I do not know his data. What's the apartment? About 52. It's about 52. I left last night. He's about 52, maybe 53. They don't have an exact birthday. The door was wide open like it is. When I came back through and I looked, the door was still wide open. Yeah, it's been open. He never he never shuts it. He leaves okay. for the day and leaves the door open. Okay. But we... Uh, by the door open, you mean like the actual right interior now, door? Right now, right now. Just like, like it, it is, is right now. So, so, yeah, so the interior door, not the storm door. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is generally how he leaves for the day. Okay. Now we had it shut earlier, but I went back in to try to find a picture All right. for you back there. Well, if we, if we can, I would like to at least just look around and sure. we can find some sort of clue while we're here. Yeah. So there's his med. They're, they're trying to find him right now. And, uh, we, yeah, yesterday we called the, mer the emergency numbers and stuff. Like mer you can check see if anybody got in, uh, in the emergency rooms. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think. And, the, and they're all one a day. My kids, now I do know this. This is what's odd though is when I came in yesterday, this was on the other side. So this was over here. So when I came in yesterday, I walked okay. around to the left. Go ahead. Are you able to contact Berkeley Medical Center and find out? I guess he visited the hospital not too long ago. Maybe a week, week and a half ago. See if they can contact his sister and find out if they have a location on this one. Alrighty. Um, there's a picture of him. That's the There's a picture of him. I guess he visited the hospital. Yeah, it's back to the hospital. 
we don't have any information here on her, but we have seen why you can find her out for me. Alright, right, can I see that picture? I'm sorry, I was trying, trying to get a hold of... Okay. Um, he was just, when was he in jail that I got him out? Two months, a month and a half ago? So you probably have... Where, wasn't State out here not too long ago, like a few months ago? Oh, that's like been a like maybe uh, six, seven months ago. No, not no, quite. When no, when he got... No, State, when was, he, out, state was out here. Ambulance we, was out here a week we and a half ago. We were out here... I could have sworn we were out here yeah, around he got the same up time. He, he got picked up. He, he got arrested because he let yeah, a, a, cousin niece or or something. a niece or something stay with him. And she was all liquored up or mm -hmm. something. Tried again. He kind of grabbed her. So get, you know, she was hitting on him. And okay. so he got yeah. snatched well, I thought, up for I that. I thought we were out here for him being missing one other time before this. At it least could, in this area. It could be. Like not too long ago. And it was like state police that came out here and like three other deputies. State, I mean, I remember state police being out here, but I don't remember exactly what they were for. Okay. Yeah, he just, he has seizures. Right, right. You right. know what I mean? And that's, yeah. and he's grieving real bad too. So. Okay. Yeah, his girlfriend passed away here in the trailer and so he, yeah. has, he doesn't even go back in the room anymore where she passed. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, so I couldn't get out my message while I was in there for some reason, so. So, I mean, you can walk in and go sit. But you're saying, like, this little. This is on the other side. Now, we, we took his dog down to the to our house. Right. Um, But I don't think the dog would move that like that. So it's not that it's a little squabble. Yeah. Um, I mean, he could have moved it just based off the fact that you know, he. Right, he could have been to. back. I mean, he could have just been like, hey, instead of sitting right here, you can sit over here. Well, he could have been back and just no one saw him. Like, oh, you're saying today? Because with that, yeah, that was moved. When I came in here yesterday, that was on the other side. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. All right. Yeah. So between the time that you were here and the last time, I don't know if anybody else walked in here looking for him because the so uh, my wife's mom lives in the trail park too, and she's been in here looking for him as well. Okay. So she could have moved it, but I don't know. Just, all right. You said he doesn't come back here. At all? He does not come back here at all. Usually his doors closed. It's only open because we came back with him. Okay. And his wife or girlfriend died on the bed here, so. He hasn't come back here. All right. It was a long shot trying to see if we could find anything back here. The body was supposed to the back. Yeah. What's his normal means of transportation? Does he just walk or does walk. he hitch rides? Walk or hitch ride. Like every time I see him walking, he's going down to the food line or the 7 Eleven. And I offer him a ride. He says, no, nah, Tom, I need the exercise. And he... All right. Down to 7-Eleven. Okay. So he'll walk He'll walk on a good distance, though. He'll walk to the 7-Eleven. He'll walk to the 7-Eleven. You know, a lot of times what he'll do is, you know, when they're all coming home from a lot of, a lot of the, all the guys that live here all kind of work together on the same construction crews. So when they're all coming back, they'll stop at the 7-Eleven food line and get what they need to get and then drop them all off when they come in. Okay. So, I mean, it's not unusual for him to leave then? It's, it's unusual for him to be gone this long, yes. Because he has a dog that he is, that's his dog, and he loves right. that dog. He does not normally leave like this. But the dog's not here, the dog's we took the dog. Him. We took the dog down to the house. Okay. All right. All right I can go, I can go further down the road. Uh, it, it ends up, like, becoming a dead end down here, doesn't it? Pepper tree? Yeah. Well, yeah, right at the bottom of this hill. Yeah. So the bottom okay. of this hill, that, that trailer, then our house, owner's house right to the right okay but yeah we, we we did walk not me personally but two people did walk through the fence they walked down there about to the end of where the property is and then they walked all the way down to the end of the gravel road but it was just two people to high grass so okay i mean you could step right over them and you wouldn't right see them. um i can go back in there and at least look i mean I, I would hate to be like I'm not going to walk back there and then him actually be back there. But if he knew, if he normally walks out and goes to like 7-Eleven or the you know any of the gas station and then frequents those areas, he might just be out there. Um, my, my again, my the reason why I call and I the reason why I called non emergency number is but it's, to me it might be just was the fact that he had just had the seizure, just got that new medication about a week and a half ago, and that was just my concern is that because um, we they've been more frequent because about. A week before that, we found him laying in the road with a seizure. So, okay. the procedures have been a little bit more frequent. All right. Well, I'll, I'll go through there and at least look. Um, the worst, worst thing I can say is, you know, he's not there. Right. Yeah. So, 
But yeah, I can at least check that out, and then if he's not back there, I walk through that. I'm not gonna really be able to find a whole lot of other areas. I walk through it. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's who he got in trouble with, isn't it? That would have been his niece. Yeah, about April is about the time that happened. Okay. Who's her parents? That I don't know. Okay. He just, she just needed a place to so we let her stay Take care. From what I'm really seeing, that's the individual we got in trouble with last time. If you can, see if you can public service them. If they have any, any information, it'd be great, but I don't know if that's going to be much help. I don't know how they do it. Jeez. I don't know how to do this without turning my uniform around. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so if you're good at limboing, that's it. You'll be good. Camera first. And he bolts through that thing, so he knows it's there. And if he's not, you know, thinking straight. But they walk down that way. Two people walk down that way. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um, it's hard to say, you know what I mean? That's wrong line. Yeah. Typically, people are going to walk through the path, but I mean, yeah. Here, They're all over. So did you like come over that thing, or did you actually like come back? I don't. I've never seen him back here. I'm just, I just know he's the only one that uh, drinks that beer, and it's in his house. Yeah, he does. He, he, uh, he drinks a bike. He drinks a lot of. Seems to be the reason why he needs his water.
ahead. Like what we just carved yeah, through. Does he go out like at night? Does it? Does it? No.
definitely, if I remember right, it was. Okay. It was definitely like a clearing where like he was able to walk out. If it's him, the person was able to walk out and just stand on this hill and was able to walk back in. It was like a like a decent size, like almost like a trail opening. If it was this, then cool, but I honestly don't think it was. I think it was within the wood line, but Were you walking down this way yeah. right here? Yeah. All right. Got it. I just saw a path. I didn't know if that was yours or not.
I'll salute this point. Maybe a shirt. But it was someone fairly tall, green shirt on. I thought they were drinking a beer. I thought they were just taking in the sights. But I mean, if it's your guy, then that means he was out here at some point. We can look all day and not find it. Yeah. So what we look this area is this is similar to what we had seen in that. But I want to at least look before we before we call it. You know.
see what I'm looking at? Yeah. Plastic bag. It was something like this though, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I mean this. It was like where he was. Yeah, he was on a hill like this, like where it was. Because it was trees that were like this, but it was like full spot like this. It's so frustrating. I can't remember if this was the same area or not. But it just seems odd that the area that he supposedly could have went to. Yeah. But where we would have got on, we would have got off what from the 23 going south here? Yeah. So, I mean, that seems right. Yeah, we don't, we're, 
we're getting you ultimately. Because he very well may have never even come through here, and that person I saw with those two guys you were talking about, right? Just one of them lollygagging, just watching the interstate for something exciting to happen for all we know, you know? I left Washington County Sheriff's Department 30 years ago. Where are we going the right way? Are we going? Yeah. Yeah, we're going. I married into this family in the trailer park about two weeks ago. Okay. Since then, I've called the ambulance once, evicted two people. I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah. A lot of work. Just like, I thought I left this stuff. Three times, she didn't answer, so I don't really have much to go on there. Take the camera or anything, or sure. <laughs> oh boy, that's it. I'll get you a little bit of camera time there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get me doing my uh, oh, then uh, then obviously go and uh, file a missing persons report. Um, but as of right now, we kind of, you know, we've both been exhausted a lot of our resources, so it's just kind of like, yeah, there's not a whole lot more I can do. I'll, I'll drive down. I got to get something to drink at this point anyway, so we'll go to, like, the, the gas stations and stuff like that and see if we can see them. I'll go to that 7-Eleven specifically to see yeah, if he's, he's there. Yeah, he's going to go to that 7-Eleven okay. or the, not much the AT&T. But the BM, but the BP? The oh, no. Food Line. Food Line. Or Rocks, but yeah, oh, during the 7-Eleven Rocks or the Well, I'm not going to go into Food Line, but I'll go right, to the gas station and at least look gotcha. for them. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I can do for nope, you. This I appreciate morning, so I can't do a whole lot more. No, I, yeah, I appreciate you coming out and taking time to look. And obviously, if we see anything or if I, you know, if I hear anything that someone's spotted them, I'll call the non emergency okay. number, let them know. At least the last time he had somebody positive, I'd okay. communication. All right, yeah, just let them know we were out here before and they might be able to reopen that and at least put those in the notes that he was found. Okay. You know, whatever it might be. So that way we'll at least have some, some paper traffic with him. Because every time you're out anywhere in this job, there's always a, uh, it's called a computer automated dispatch. It's a, it's a basically a form that says when I was out here, who was out here, who I talked to, all that stuff. So they have your all's information, they have his information now attached to that. So yep. if you can do that, by all means do it. Sure. Make sure he's safe. So yep. other than that. Thanks, Debbie. Appreciate sir. it. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.